Today is April 22nd, and April is National Poetry Month. In celebration, the University of Arkansas Press, home of the Miller-Williams Poetry Prize, is sponsoring the Poetry Minute on KUAF. Today we hear from Jeffrey Brock, reading Variations for Two Pianos by Donald Justice. Variations for Two Pianos by Donald Justice for Thomas Higgins, pianist. There is no music now in all Arkansas. Higgins is gone, taking both his pianos. Movers dismantled the instruments, away sped the vans. The first detour untuned the strings. There is no music now in all Arkansas. Up Main Street, past the cold shop fronts of Conway, the brash, self-important brick of the college, Higgins is gone, taking both his pianos. Warm evenings, the windows open, he would play something of Mozart's for his pupils, the birds. There is no music now in all Arkansas. How shall the mockingbird mend her trill, the jay, his eccentric attack, lacking a teacher? Higgins is gone taking both his pianos. There is no music now in all Arkansas. It went to this piece pretty quickly just because it's, it's one of my favorite Arkansas poems. Um, it's not really about Arkansas, but it has Arkansas in the refrain. Uh, so it was one of, it was one of the, the first few that came to mind. Donald Justice is from, he's actually from South Georgia. He taught for many decades in Iowa and Florida. Uh, he, he died a few years ago. Justice was trained actually, before he became a poet, he was trained as a pianist and a composer. And he um, studied with a, a very well-known composer. And the person he wrote this poem for was a, a, a highly regarded pianist and who taught at Conway. And uh, this poem was written after he was denied tenure and, and had to leave Arkansas. And it's, so it's, it reads sort of like an elegy, but it's, um, it's actually got a sort of, it's a comic take on the elegy, if that's possible. Variations for Two Pianos is a poem by Donald Justice. Jeffrey Brock teaches poetry and translation in the Graduate Creative Writing Program at the U of A. Join us each day this month for the latest Poetry Minute, sponsored by the U of A Press on KUAF. Look for archived minutes at KUAF.com. Join us for tomorrow's Poetry Minute as our featured reader will be Elizabeth Quinn.